The new plays evade for the first time and what do you think he does? He gets hunted by next bots, annoys and trolls other players, and spends his money on dumb emotes that don't even look that good. And at the end of the day, he will dislike the game and say that it's too overrated just because they don't know how to play the game right. Evade is a pretty complex game. There are quite a lot of layers and I'm surprised about how much the developers have packed into a game that's basically just about nerds running away from wreck spots. But it worked! Today, I'll show you the secrets of achieving a 90% win rate in all of your Evade games. You don't need to abuse glitches, bugs, or perform any cool tricks to achieve this actually. All you need to succeed in Evade is common sense and good decisions. So yeah, let's get into this. The first tip I have for you is to spend your money on things that are actually going to give you returns. When you first start playing Evade, the money that you get will be much slower compared to an experienced player because you're more likely to die in the rounds that you play in. So with this unlimited amount of cash, you need to spend it wisely on things that will give you more cash. The most straightforward purchase is the briefcase, which basically directly increases the income that you will receive. In my opinion, this is easily the best purchase in the game that you can do as a beginner for you to access higher tier equipment in the future. There are also other grinding tactics as well. For example, you are able to use the stethoscope to allow you to revive faster, which will allow you to gain more money from revives and is most effective in big team servers. However, the income you get from this is rather inconsistent compared to the briefcase. The second tip of this video is to start voting for harder maps. This sounds like common sense, but not a lot of people know this fact. You earn more from beating harder maps. To get the fastest progress, you need to play harder maps and the easiest way to do that is to start voting harder maps so you can play them more. You get to select maps after 3 rounds and you're given 4 choices. Usually, choose the maps that are the hardest. There's usually at least one map in that list of 4 choices, so you should pick that the majority of the time. Sometimes there will be expert maps and those feature the hardest maps in the game. You should also pick those, considering they are rare and provide much more rewards compared to a normal or even hard map. Even if you lose at these maps, you will still on average gain more money experience just because the map is harder. The third tip is to invest time into learning all of the maps. This is something that a lot of beginners fall into. They only play the maps that they like and refuse to play the other maps that they do not like whatsoever. This actually puts you at a huge disadvantage because with a small map pool, you're likely to lose at the maps that you don't like because you don't have the map knowledge to win at them. I have map biases like everybody else, but in order to maintain a high rain rate and make fast progress, you have to be versatile and competent at the majority of the maps. So when you're given a map that you don't particularly like, you could use to have a good chance of succeeding just because you have the map knowledge for all the best spots in that map. Tip number 4 is to play differently as the round progresses. What do you mean by that? When the round first starts, I recommend spacing out and playing at the edges of the maps. They are far from where the next spots spawn. This is because the next spots will mostly focus their attention on the players that are around the middle. If you crawl with other people at the start of the game, the next spots first target is probably going to be you, so be wary of that. When you get to about middle section of the game, things get a little bit harder. At this point, the next spots have already spread across the map and it's time to move. Usually you should be tagging along with people in this situation, or at least stay close to the population areas of the map just in case you get down and need help. This gradually changes by the end game where there are few players left and what you have to do now is to sit in groups with other players. This is because by the time end game comes around, there's so few players that the chances of getting revives are very slim. Of course, there's some variances to this strategy that depends on the special round on the map that is being played but overall this is technically the blueprint that you need in order to win the majority of your games in Evade. And finally the last tip which is overall the most important tip in Evade and it's actually a tip that you're implementing right now which is watching videos about how to get better at Evade. You're already doing that by watching this video, so good job! And yeah, if you want to watch more Evade videos that actually help you, I recommend looking over to the complete guides that I've made for the game. They're long, detailed, and leave no stone unturned. Any questions that you might have in the game are answered in these videos. And yeah, that's about it for me. See you all in the next one.